Hello, this is Adrian Jr. of Sin City Outdoors, and I've been wanting to post this video for a while now to the trail cam. Uh, this company sent me a trail cam. I've been having a little bit of difficulties catching animals on it, but I managed to get it done. And I, I think we got some really cool footage on this thing, so you guys are going to want to see this. So this video is going to be a day late, and all my loyal subscribers will know I post on Tuesdays every week, or I try to. And uh, we have good reasons for that, I guess, because we've been having a lot of family like problems lately. Uh, so we had a cousin named Naomi. She just died three days ago. And then, you know, the family was already hurt about that and everything. We're already planning a funeral and everything. And yesterday we just got news that um, my cousin named Silali, she got in a bad car accident. And right now she's in critical condition, going through surgeries and everything. So I didn't feel like posting yesterday. So Silali, um, she really likes watching our YouTube channel. And things can happen so quick. I mean, she was just over at our house for four days with, along with all our other cousins for Thanksgiving weekend. And now she's in critical condition, going through surgeries. We hope she gets better soon. Great love to her, and uh, our prayers are going to go out to her. Uh, so, okay, I'm finally going to show you guys what we got on the trail cam. I, I think you guys are really going to like it, and I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff that happened. So I just wanted to show you guys the heavy duty build of this trail cam right here, it's really nice. It's waterproof, the batteries can last like 8 months or something like that, it's crazy. So it has an open and the screen right here automatically displays. So first thing when you open it up and turn it on, it's going to go to a password screen. So now if anybody ever steals your trail cam, they can't access it or use it without knowing the password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in our password real quick, show you guys some more stuff. So now, see it automatically displays what it's showing and everything, and if you click replay, it'll show some pictures and stuff, and I'm not going to show you guys too much because that will give away what we caught on it. But that's it, and you could just mess around with the panels and all these kind of stuff. It's actually really great. Um, it comes with straps and a little thing you can put it on the floor. It's really heavy duty, waterproof. As you guys can see, it's really dirty, and in our footage, you guys are going to see why. It's actually really cool, so I'm going to play this right now. We set it up getting ready for a predator hunt, scouting out some areas. This area has a lot of sign of activity, a lot of fresh trails going through, so I'm going to see what we can get on film. It'd be cool to catch some bobcats on film, some foxes, coyotes. We have it mounted on a, on a branch just to hold it in place I'm gonna leave it out here a couple days come back so let's see what we can get on it I have a good feeling we're gonna get some great footage so stay tuned and enjoy we're out here gonna check the trail camera uh, we left it for four days so let's go see what's on it <laughs> Look. stuff dug it up wow they were here digging yeah we get Right here we put it too, they dug that up too, so let's go ahead and check this thing. Oh, there's slobber on it. Something slobbered on it. Oh, they bit it. They bit it? It has bite marks on top. All slobbered on and stuff. It looks like they bit it. Oh, yeah, it does. Take it out. Alright. So these things, you open them and you turn them off before you check them. But first, look at all the <laughs> slobber and stuff on it. Let's go ahead and turn this off so it's not filming us walking stuff. It's off. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and check it. We put in the code. Now, how do you look at the pictures again? Replay? How do you play it? Oh, that was a while ago. So we made a critical mistake with this thing. We had the sensitivity too low. 
and we have 836 pictures of nothing but a bush so I guess you live and you learn we're gonna have to reset it up and the first day it maxed out on its pictures because we have too much the sensitivity is way too low that sucks but it also sucks because something actually went up and chewed on it slobbered all over it and everything and we're not gonna get that on film Good news is it has plenty of battery life left, still full. So we're gonna go set it up, see what we can get on film. Leave it out here a couple days, raise the sensitivity or lower it so you don't get pictures of the bushes and let's see what we can do. So when the first time I ever put it out, I didn't get anything on film. We put the sensitivity too high and what happened is a big, uh, like a bunch of wind came and it took a bunch of pictures on film with just the bushes moving with the wind. And we had it sitting out there for probably about four days. So when we came up to it, we noticed there was a bunch of like prints and everything in front of it. And something we noticed actually chewed on it and like slobbered or something. So we at least thought it was slobber. So we decided to just move it somewhere close to our house, like pretty close to our house where kids are running around and people are constantly walking by just thinking we're going to get some rabbits or something on film. No nothing serious. So you guys are going to be extremely surprised at the things I got on this camera so close to my house where kids are running around and people walking their dogs, people just constantly walking through it. So I'm going to show you guys that footage right now and explain a little bit more of the things that happened. You better hide your kids, hide your wives, hide your dogs, everything. Because that bobcat <laughs> was not playing around. And as you guys can see, he peed all over the trail can. This thing stinks. I'm surprised I'm even touching it right now. So, it turns out that first time we put it out and I said they might have slobbered on it or something. It turned out that something peed on it because they came up and peed on it a bunch more. And this thing stinks. I don't even want to touch it, but <laughs> it's just crazy.
So overall, this is a nice trail cam. Uh, I really do recommend the company that made this trail cam. Um, I have the link in the description below. Go ahead and visit them. Uh, uh, they said that they're actually willing, possibly, to send another trail cam for a giveaway. So put a comment down below. If I get enough comments, I'll be asking them if they're willing to send one for a giveaway. I'll pick one comment to win the trail cam when they send one, and I'll, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram who's the winner. So go ahead, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.